are here at the beautiful Pezulu Safari Park in Hillcrest, Durban, land of the legendary Zulu warrior. My name is Shamila Miller, and today we start with a brand new elimination round with two fresh teams ready to compete for their title of the unsinkable class of 2015. First up, we have Team Igagasi from Penzance Primary. Their name refers to a wave that surges and breaks with power and precision. And their competitors, Team Uwanke from Chelsea Prep. Now their name refers to the vast ocean. How did that happen? A wave against the whole ocean? <laughs> but who knows, we may just end up with a tidal wave because after all, this is Challenge SOS. We are here at another action-packed episode of Challenge SOS and this is Elimination Round 2 where the winner will swim into the finals and the loser will sink and go home. Last week, we did the end of the first eight in Ronde. Two spanners had more in water between grillerige gedeertes with a quaiser sand in a hindernis baan and a cup between glibberige slangen and crocodile. Not at all, was there net one winner. No state for two new spanners and three new outdoors. But today our teams face a slightly different challenge. It'll be a little bit more hectic than, let's say, hanging off a cliff. Our teams are going to have to tackle the Zulu dance. This is where grace and poise will take victory today. Our teams will have to get in tune and sway to the rhythm of that African beat if they have any hope in claiming those points. This is going to be a great start and put pressure on this competition. So let's all move to the rhythm of Africa right here on our very own Challenge SOS. Here in the heart of Africa, the Zulu have been dancing for as long as one can remember. And their dancing is a sign of happiness and can be used in both rituals and ceremonies. Here at Pazulu, we can experience and observe the typical traditional lifestyle. To begin, our teams are going to sit down and watch a traditional dance. They must pay very close attention because they will have to try and emulate one of the dances that they see. Each team will be given a traditional dancer to teach them the dance. Each team will only have 10 minutes to put together a dance and then perform it for a panel of Pezulu dancers. These dancers know exactly what they're looking for, so they will judge each team accordingly. So simple, but also so challenging, because these dancers have been perfecting their craft for years, and our team members only have 10 minutes. The pressure is on! <laughs> My name is Kaylin Bahari and I'm in Penzance Primary. My name is Caitlin Gooding and I go to Penzance Primary School. My name is Tamika Pillay and I go to Penzance Primary School. My name is Benjamin Hewlett and I go to Penzance Primary. My name is William and I am 12 years old and I attend school at Chelsea Prep. My name is Alison Delanger. I am 13 years old and I attend Chelsea Preparatory School. My name is Emma Lofsted, I am 12 years old and I attend Chelsea Preparatory School. My name is Sam Carney, I am 12 years old and I attend school at Chelsea Preparatory. Um, joining Challenge SOS feels amazing as it feels nice to be, to be part of this and represent my school. Well, when I watched Challenge SOS a few episodes I got really excited because I love doing outdoors and sports. This is our first challenge uh, on Challenge SOS and it's really overwhelming because you're really kind of scared and you don't know what to like do and then like but I'm sure as it goes on I'll get much comfortable with it. Well this is our first challenge and I expect it to be very challenging, very hard but um, I think our team's up to it and I think we can do it. I think we're a very strong team and I believe that we can um, pass these obstacles. 
Knowing that today's um, challenge is Zulu dancing, uh, I feel really nervous because I'm not really much of a dancer. I've personally never ever done Zulu dancing in my life before. I've got good rhythm and I think I can dance very well. I am 90% sure that we are going to win because we're a very competitive team and um, we have fun in all, act in all activities and we always try our best. I think the other team is really strong but um, I think we'll uh, be able to do better because we know each other really well and we're strong together. Hey guys! Come on over. Welcome to Challenge SOS. This is your first challenge in our second elimination round, and we have dished up a goodie. Are you guys ready to move? Yes! Amazing, I'm loving the energy. So today is all about focus and rhythm. So get with the beat and give it everything you've got, okay? okay. Yes. Team Igagasi, Tamika, why do you guys think you deserve this title? Well, we've been really hard, working hard for like a long time and I think we've got a very strong team and we're really confident in ourselves. Amazing, good to hear. Team Owangle, do you guys think you can go all the way to the end? Yes, we do. We've Why? We're a very strong team and very sporty and we work all together. Amazing, good teamwork, I love that. I am very interested to see how this is all going to turn out. Good luck. Surrounded by the majestic views of the Pezula Safari Park, we are in for a terrific treat. The Gaza clan have kindly opened their hearts to us and we are really in for an unforgettable show. So if you're feeling the rhythm at home, why don't you join us for a dance in your very own Challenge SOS right in your living room. Muni Vahni, as jy lissus om die self te prette hee as ons spanner, besoek en hou van ons Facebook blad of volg ons op Instagram en Twitter. Doen dit nou, dit kan net pret wees. Remember guys to hashtag challenge SOS. But now it is time for your reality. Are you guys ready to kick some dust? Yes! yes. Amazing, let's go. Welcome back to Challenge SOS, where our teams are going to perform a traditional Zulu dance in our first challenge of the second elimination round. They are going to be judged by a panel of Pez Zulu dancers. But first, our teams are going to watch a traditional Zulu dance so that they can soak up all that African inspiration. Let's go check it out. We watched the Zulu dancing show and I found it just so exciting and vibing that I just wanted to get up and go dance with them. And I really enjoyed watching it.
bring in your dance instructors. Do you guys want to join me over here? This is dance instructor Isaac, and this is Tandeke. Give them a warm challenge SOS welcome. Hi. Hi. Isaac, you are going to go with Uwankle over there, and Tandeke, you will be with Igagasi. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. You guys are going to have 10 minutes to put together your dance, okay? And when I start the clock, listen to your dance instructors because they know exactly what they're talking about. Keep that beat of Africa in your hearts and you guys won't go wrong. Got it? Got yes. it. Amazing. Okay, you guys have 10 minutes. Isaac, do you want to take your team? Yes. And Tadeka, you can take your team over there. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Okay. I hope these teams make the very best out of these next 10 minutes. Four. Up, one, two, When we, three. we got told we only had 10 minutes to practice our Zulu dance, I was quite worried. For our Zulu dance challenge, we got assigned an instructor. Her name was Tandeka. She showed us the ladies' traditional dance. During our practice, our instructor gave us Zulu artifacts and it made it much easier to practice. It made the dance more interesting. Okay, guys, you have seven minutes left. Keep up the good work. Uh, during the practice, I was, I was kind of scared because I might not remember the moves. Once we had got started, it got easy because we practiced over and over. Um, I found dancing today a bit difficult because it's not really our thing, but after the instructor showed us a few moves, we got the hang of it. We stood out as in we did things different that, not, that the other team didn't really do. Yes, I was very amped and excited to go out and perform with my team because I knew that we could deliver, or deliver it all. Okay, guys, five minutes. I didn't think the 10 minutes was really enough because we didn't get to um, affect our dance. We were able to learn the challenge in 10 minutes and we, we practiced it over and over. All right, guys, time is up. Come join me here at the performance area. Oh. All right, guys, so these are our judges. They're going to judge which of you have the biggest African heart. This is Judge Nana, Judge Cindy, and Judge Patrick. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome. They are traditional Zulu dancers, so they are very highly qualified to judge what you've prepared. Okay? So, Team Ulwankhe, you guys won the toss, which means you're going first. That means, Team Igagasi, you guys are going to sit on the side and enjoy the show. Okay? Go ahead. Okay, how are you guys feeling? Are you nervous? No, no, no not at all. No. Oh wow, that's amazing. That's uh, yeah, that's good. Um, give it everything you have, and remember to just have fun, okay? And the stage is yours. After the challenge, I felt that we could have, our timing could have been better, but I have a good feeling that we have a good chance of winning. Um, I found the Zulu dancing challenge a bit difficult because um, dancing isn't really my strength, but I think we pulled through and did well. After watching the show and performing, I know more about Zulu dancing and a few moves. Wow, guys, that was absolutely incredible. How are you feeling? Tired, but it was really amazing. Yeah. Oh, you looked amazing, honestly. 
Okay, so now we're going to give the stage to Igor Garci and you guys will enjoy the show, okay? Yeah. This team has just impressed us with their rhythm. I am so happy that I'm not the one that has to judge at all. They are showing us that nothing is impossible if you put your minds to it and everything is in reach. Get out there, forge your own path and take to the hills. You are in control of your own destiny. As jy lissers, vir die selfde uitdagings as ons spanner, besoek en hou van ons op Facebook of volg ons op Instagram en Twitter. So sal jy alles kan geniet wat ons wonderlijke natuur bied. Waarvoor wacht jy? Doen dit nou. And remember to hashtag challenge SOS. Welcome back to the wild and wonderful Pezulu Safari Park, nestled deep within the valley of a thousand hills in KZN. Now, Team Wanghe has just strutted their stuff, and they really took to the task with skill and style. Next up is Team Igagasi. Can they show the judges that they have the rhythm of Africa flowing through their veins? There is only one way to find out, and that is to get back to the action. So the previous team set a really high bar. Are you guys nervous? How do you feel? Uh, sort of. Yeah. Sort of yeah. nervous? Okay, cool. Well, uh, use that. Uh, help you focus, okay? Good luck. The stage is now yours. did work well together and um, compared to the other team we just had fun and we weren't like that shy. Well we were a bit but not as shy as the other team. One of the moves I really enjoyed was when we lifted our legs up like this um, because I like doing that sometimes. In the end we decided to go yeah boy and that finished our dance off. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Well done guys! That was amazing! My young Zulu Warriors, <laughs> how do you feel? Tired. Tired. <laughs> Amazing, yes. Okay, so that nerves had nothing to do with it, yeah? No. Good. Okay, so I'm going to ask both teams to leave the performing area while the judges make their decision, okay? Okay. Let's go. Good day, judges. How are you? We're fine, thank you. I'm fantastic, thank you very much. Okay, cool. <laughs> So tell me, have our teams today put in enough effort in their Zulu dancing to earn your votes? Yes, oh, they did. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, awesome. they did, yeah. yeah but... Team Owan Clay went first. Tell me, what did you think of them? Nana? Well, Lulu and Jelen Zega said, although they were perfect. Amazing. Cindy? Yes, Lulu and Jelen Zega said, although they were perfect. <laughs> the spirits were high, of course. Yes. Fantastic. Patrick? Yeah, they tried so hard, actually. Looking at the fact that it was their first time to do the traditional Zulu dance, so what more could we expect? They were so good, I would say. Amazing. This is very positive feedback. Thank you. Great. And tell me about Team Igagasi. Igagasi, but Segi, so I didn't say that foot is cool and I said, no, man, no, Cheng, this is like this, and then they practice it right, and then I will foot be very good. Very good indeed. Yes, I agree. We were so when you smile, everything works. Yes. Honestly, they were so great, and I couldn't believe seeing them singing, enjoying themselves like that. You know, it's like they've been doing this for a long, long time. You know what I mean? Yes, they were so I, know. Great, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I am very glad to hear all of this, yeah. but this is Challenge SOS, and only one team can be the winner. Um, so, are you ready to vote? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go now. So judges, now that you've made your vote, can I have them please? Thank you. 
judges, on behalf of Challenger Suez, I would like to thank you for your gracious hospitality. It has been an honor, and I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, hidden inside of this calabash are the team's fate, but these results are going to remain a secret until the end of the qualifying round. <laughs> Another challenge, the wait. Ah! That was your first challenge, and uh, what a challenge it was, really, in this beautiful, beautiful place. I think we should take a moment to just admire and take in this beauty. Breathtaking, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, wonderful. Awesome. awesome. So, Team Igagasi, what was the most difficult part of your challenge today, Benjamin? I think the most difficult part of our challenge today is that we didn't know anything about Zulu dancing. We had to like learn it in 10 minutes and do it out in front of judges. Yeah, but still, you guys did a pretty amazing job. So well done. Thank you. Okay, Team Uwanke, do any of you think you would uh, go back home and teach your friends some Zulu dancing? Alison? Yes, definitely so. I uh, can't actually wait to go show them. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. That's good to hear. Okay, so as you know, the judges voted on your individual performances and I've got the results right here. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> The winner of today's Zulu Dancing Challenge is... is going to remain a secret. <laughs> so guys, here on Challenge SOS, we like to keep some little mysteries to ourselves. But don't lose faith, guys. This was only the first challenge, and there are still two more to go. So you still have plenty of points to get, OK? Awesome. Just always work together and remember to stay strong. So there's still so much to see and so much to do and so much to learn. And you're still fighting for that title of the unsinkable class of 2015. Next week, I'm so excited to see how you guys are going to do in the challenge because it is going to be a trick. Trust me. Are you guys amped and ready for an adventure? Yes. yes. Amazing. <laughs> so there you have it. One challenge down and two more to go. Only then will we find out who will swim into the finals or who will sink into the depths of defeat. We've got Team Egagasi and Team Uwanke, and they both seem to have the drive to win, but only one will have the courage to take it all. Join me next week where we set the pace for an orienteering course of outrageous proportions. Check this out. Volgende week zal Spanberg die deerslag gee wanneer die spanne prankies en versteekte leidrade by mekaar moet bring. Hey guys, we need to go down. Hectic. Until then, be sure to discover your drive and discipline to forge your own path. Nothing is unreachable and everything is possible if you put your heart and mind at the task at hand. So get out there. I know you want to. And then join me, Shamila Miller, and these two teams next week, where we will see which one will... Sink or swim! <laughs> exactly. See you next week.